Yo, what up, little daddy? It's your boy, Skizzle here, and there is a lot of fire, fire stuff going down about Black Ops 4. Some is old information that I kind of held for a little bit. I was waiting for a perfect time, and this is a perfect time to talk about it. And of course, there is new information coming out about Black Ops 4, which is really, really hype. And I really believe that in the coming days, we're going to have a teaser trailer as well. And I really feel like every single day leading up to the reveal, we're going to have new stuff coming out as well. So stay tuned for that and I really want to say if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe we're gonna cover every single thing about Black Ops 4 but in the news a couple of days ago on April 27 in Amsterdam there was an event by the name of For the Kings now the event by the name of For the King doesn't really say much up until the point of where you go ahead and you search over on Twitter with the hashtag For the King and you see bunch of people having this shirt on and or t-shirt on. I really cannot make a difference by the way, but what's important here is that you clearly see that people have hashtag For the King and For represents Black Ops 4 right here, which is really, really interesting. And I got this information from an anonymous source, and he doesn't really want me to credit him, which is like, what? You don't want to dab on them haters, bro? But he told me that don't credit me, so I'm like, okay, I got you. And he told me a bunch of stuff about it, and he told me that there is an event by the name of For the Kings that happens every single year in Amsterdam, and apparently this year Activision got involved. Now, we have very limited amount of information. We know that people actually got these t-shirts, but we do not know if Activision really had information there about Black Ops 4 or not. Maybe they showed some trailer to those people who attended or maybe not, but that was really interesting nonetheless. Also, if you go over on CallOfDuty.com and if you scroll down, you will see that Raven Software got the 4th studio place. And this is really interesting because of course there are rumors flying around that Treyarch is going to have a battle royale mode in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and Apparently Raven Software is going to be the one that will develop it and they will consistently going to update that throughout the Black Ops 4 cycle Which is really really interesting and I really believe that's the case or this could just mean that after we get Black Ops 4 There will be a four-year cycle where every single year We're going to have a new Call of Duty from Infinity War and then we're gonna have from Treyarch Then we're gonna have from Sledgehammer Games and then we're gonna have from Raven Software But I really don't believe in that I feel like Raven Software is going to to be the one that will update consistently a game mode this time around it's going to be a battle royale mode next year maybe two and then whatever comes around that is new they are going to be the one to work on it which is really really interesting but recently there was a update that happened on black ops 3 which you may have heard it or not but we're gonna get a little bit deep into that because we're all about dabbing on them haters but recently a new information came out and this one is coming from benjelis that actually uh uh, reported that to maybe Gaming Revolution because he just said credit to Benjelis. Hopefully, I'm not butchering it, but we can see Fringe Nightfall. Now, this I don't think this is a Photoshop because hey, it's the Gaming Revolution, right, folks? But we see Fringe Nightfall, and this really made me think because we recently got a winter version of that brand new map. I just forgot about that, but right after we got that, we got a reveal a confirmation that Black Ops 4 is going to happen and of course right now we're waiting for the hot reveal trailer so that's gonna go down and of course before that happens we're gonna have a reveal teaser trailer or not really reveal but we're gonna have an actual teaser trailer so I'm really really hyped for that but it got me thinking that hey Black Ops 3 is two and a half years old game and whatever they are going to do now is really going to affect Black Ops 4 or basically it's going to be their way of teasing Black Ops 4 because you got to keep in mind that this update really just happened on PlayStation 4 because I do have Black Ops 3 on the PC I loaded up Black Ops 3 on the PC and I found absolutely nothing I feel like they're gonna update it later on but for now it's only available on PS4 maybe it is available on Xbox one as well but I do not have that so I'm just telling you what's up but it just happened on PS4 and I really feel like they are not going to update on PCs just yet because if they do it people are going to data mine the shit out of it and every information is gonna leak and it's gonna come out and I hope that happens in a couple of days from now but we also got a patch note and who knows what they are hiding behind that because what we're hearing is that they are updating the game they are fixing bugs like all that typical stuff but I don't buy that and we also got a bunch of new weapons we got the Sten and RPK which I want to get back to in just a little bit but we also got prop hunt it's a brand new game 
mode and again two and a half year old game and they're just updating it like it's nothing I mean this is just crazy y'all and recently we also got a new calling card and it's a flying B calling card now this is very suspicious because this is the brand new calling card that we got right after we got the black ops 4 calling card and they are giving this to everyone which is suspicious nonetheless and I went on Google and I did a B symbolism Google search and this is exactly what I found now of course don't take this as like 100% accurate or anything like that but this was really really interesting now it says that bees are considered extremely uh, auspicious throughout the world they have played an important part in symbolism since ancient times the list of virtues of the bee is very long they have been considered to be messengers carrying news to the spirit world in many cultures bees represent wisdom and immortality now right off the bat this got me thinking hard and I was like hey Frank would always say you cannot kill me of course that's a metaphor and he just says that for the lols or whatever but this got me really thinking and I really believe that RPK and Stan that just got added into Black Ops 3 was really all about what's to come in Black Ops 4 and it got me thinking that hey the rumors for Black Ops 4 having no campaign is all fake information and we're gonna have a campaign in Black Ops 4 and in that we're gonna go back in time and if we're gonna go back in time for for sure we're gonna have weapons of the past and Sten and RPK is going to be perfect for that and of course the whole game is going to be modern so we're gonna jump from places to places from time to time in multiplayer campaign and even in zombies and I am really and extremely hyped for this game and I really feel like in a couple of days from now we're gonna have an official teaser trailer similar to how we got Black Ops 3 Ember trailer in the past just three days before the reveal so I'm just saying time to be hyped and hey if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe I will cover every single thing about Black Ops 4 but let me know what you guys think in the comments below check out some other videos on the screen and i will see you very freaking soon